Today my very special guest on Hello Darling is the undefeated WBO world champion light flyweight Louis Bang Bang Houghton. Kicking like a woman to stay on top, fighting challenges along the way, Lulu is an inspiration for women of all ages. Hi Louis and welcome to Hello Darling. Hello, hi, Hello Darling. Louis, you have been just awarded the Momentum Wonder Woman of the Year for 2017. Mm -hmm. Now, let me remind the viewers what qualifies a woman to become a Wonder Woman. It's the woman that believes in wonders, that makes impossible possible, that kicks like a woman to achieve her goals. How does it feel and how does it translate into your life? Ah, I feel so, so honored to receive the award, yeah. Um, you know, I am a Wonder Woman and there's many Wonder Women out there. I think for me, what I think a Wonder Woman is, is somebody that empowers themselves and that way they can empower others around them. And kicking hard to achieve your goals. We're kicking or we could be punching. That's right, <laughs> that's right. When did you start boxing? Did you dream about becoming a world champion? Uh, I dreamed about becoming a world champion, not so much in boxing. I started boxing only four years ago. Mm -hmm. um, when I was younger, I wanted to become a champion in skateboarding, so I've got a second opportunity to fulfill my dreams. Yes, and during your career, you had a lot of very little resources, sometimes very little support. So how did you do it? How did you achieve so much with so limited yeah, I am, help? Yeah, it has been pretty limited support. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I basically have gone after something that I've really longed for within me. So I've kind of just pushed through all the barriers of all of those little things along the side. Uh, I've invested in myself a lot and worked extremely, extremely hard to get where I am. Uh, yeah, basically don't take a day off and my family are involved and um, I just make it happen. I guess when you really want something to happen, you really make it happen. So That's right. Yeah. And of course, part of it is working extended hours away from purse. It mm -hmm. must be challenging for you to, to combine being a mom and family life and career. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I find when I'm away in fight camp preparing for the fights that it's challenging to be away from my children. At times I get really upset that I can't see them, but I know that what I'm doing is working towards giving them proof that they can make their dreams achievable later in life and also showing them that, um, you know, we, we, women can achieve these things because I also have a daughter, so that's pretty important to me. So I always remember them, but they're always on the sideline cheering for me and sending me pictures and that makes me really smile. And so. that's what keeps you going, Yeah, yes? absolutely. Now, you have two children, mm -hmm. yes? Yeah. A boy and a girl? Yes, Eli and Estelle. Beautiful. So now, what do they think about mum being world champion and mum being a Wonder Woman of the Year yeah, now? Yeah, they're super, super proud. Um, like I said, they draw me pictures of me in the ring Aww. with the crowd and me knocking girls out. And they're always singing my song and cheering for me and telling me that I'm a champion. So it's very warming for Great. me to hear that, yeah. Great, beautiful. Louise Darling, you were introduced to martial arts while you were going through a marriage breakdown. Mm -hmm. What helped you most? What kept you going through this period? What helped you most? Through my time? breakdown? I would say that having my best friend by my side really, really helped me. And then also at that time of my life, I felt really lost. So finding myself back in the gym and pushing those adrenaline buttons within me helped me get in touch with myself again. So that whole martial arts aspect of it really, really helped me through. But you know, the main thing is having the support around you. Now, who is your hero? Who inspires you? Um, in boxing, it would be Triple G. Um, he's so strong and powerful and he's leading the way at the moment. And also Manny Pacquiao because he's from, you know, part of me, my countryman as well from the Philippines. So he's definitely achieved great things and I want to follow in their footsteps in my boxing career. In life in general, who inspires me would be my closest friends. So Shelly is definitely one of them. She's always inspiring me to be the best that I can be. And some other really close friends like Melanie McClue and Basically, my family, who's there every day. My children inspire me a great deal. Beautiful. 
Darling, tell me, are you ready for the fame that so often changes people's lives? I'm, I'm so ready for it. You know, I've, I've prepared myself as a teenager and having the second shot to come back into the world of being an athlete, a professional athlete. I'm, yeah, I'm really ready for it and I'm really looking forward to the journey that it's going to take. You know, I'd like to stay my humble self and um, approachable little being. So, mm. yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. Gender equality. Mm -hmm. Why do you think there is still so many things that are different for men and women in any kind of industry, especially sports? Ah, uh, Yeah, it's a massive one for sports. Um, it's something that I'm quite passionate about, sharing with the world you know, my opinion and my views on it because I don't only just come up against it boxing, which is a very male-dominated world, but when I was skateboarding as well, it was, um, you know, it was quite rich there too. So I think, you know, uh, being a woman and the difference between a man is it comes back to being able to be viewed, mm -hmm. being able to be seen. Um, a lot of people, there's a stigma around women that they're, they're not good, like especially in fighting. I mean, girls can't fight, this and that, but, you know, when you really put someone with talent in front of you, it surprises everybody mm. and it gets everybody's attention. There mm. is a bit of a movement at the moment with women in sport and it's fantastic. It's great and it needs to happen, you know, mm. and that, again, like I said, comes from different powers of other women standing in their rights and being strong and confident to pursue their um, future in, in their industry. And I think the hardest thing for women in sport is because it's not sustainable, because for men it's sustainable for an income for them to enjoy life mm. and lavish life, That's really. Right. But for women, it's, it's barely sustainable. You know, we're barely scraping by. And, and that's what makes a lot of girls drop out of sports. Mm. Because if, if there's no substance there mm. for them to create a lifestyle out of it, how can they dream to have a career out of something that isn't going to get them anywhere? But it has to be there must be a way, a ways of turning or beginning the turnaround. Well, absolutely. How can we turn yeah, it around? Yeah, I think there is like, a, what I'm doing is I'm trying to do that for the next generation um, and I'm very passionate about that. Uh, I believe that there is income there, you know. Um, it's just a matter of marketing it properly because we're not men, so you don't market us the way you market men. You market mm -hmm. us as women. Wow. And mm -hmm. also, I think, it's going to take the TV and the media to get behind women. And hello, darling. And hello, <laughs> darling. <laughs> and that way, it gives women a platform to be noticed. And for companies, like the major companies, to get behind them and start sponsoring and start paying endorsements to women that are at the top of their league. You know, we, right. we really put in just as much effort as the men, if not sometimes possibly more, because we're trying to prove ourselves just in this male-dominated world that we're here and we're, we're good at what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Being as petite as you are, what's your weight, if I may ask? 48. Kilos. 48 yeah. kilos. Do you, do you find it as an additional obstacle in your career going up? For, you um, know, never mind, you're a woman, you're a petite woman, pre yeah. pretty petite woman. I don't feel petite, I feel quite large, but that's just Good. my imagination of myself. Well, have you <laughs> and I don't you? really notice <laughs> until I'm standing next to someone that's rather taller. But um, yes, it does come up against uh, other challenges being so small, the uh, competition pool is yeah. a little bit smaller and also generally, and it happens in men's boxing as well, the money behind the smaller weights isn't generally there either. So it's it's another challenge on top of, you know, just being a woman, which I don't think should be challenging anyway. It's beautiful. Absolutely. When your little children look up to you mm -hmm. as the champion, as the Wonder Woman, yeah. what's your message to your children? What's your children. advice for your children? I know they're still very young. Yeah. But oh no, my my message to them is if they really want to make something happen. Um, no matter how far-fetched it may seem to everybody else that they must go for their goals. They just got to try their best. Um, you know, when you're, when you're actually trying to achieve something, you're better than just sitting back and waiting for something to change because at least there you're creating success. Whether you fall short or you, you know, smash it out of the park, you're still on your journey and you're still on your way rather than sitting and not doing anything. So that's my message to them and to work work hard at what they do, but make sure that they love what they do, because when you're loving what you're doing, it, the hard work, it's not hard work, it's just fun. 
What was the best day of your life? The best day of my life? Wow, there's been so many. One, um, the best day of your life. If you can think and can choose one. I think winning the world championship in Japan was very satisfying. Yes, uh, I would say yeah. imagine. <laughs> I mean, there's something I've longed to do since I was a teenager that I said with my skateboarding, I really pushed the limits there and having a younger mind maybe and being not as mature, I couldn't really push past some of the hurdles that I was faced with. Um, but now, you know, being a woman and having lived and learnt as well, I uh, can see my way around things. So, Beautiful. Yeah. Do you think we, we cannot be all world champions? We cannot be all, we are all Wonder Women, but today is only one Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Do you think that school curriculum should have as a compulsory a boxing, mini boxing classes targeting self-defense in yeah. today's violent world? Absolutely. Violence against no, I women. I totally do because not just, boxing just isn't self-defense or you know, what some people may think it is just punching and hitting people. It's not at all. There's so much from boxing that you can learn to, and adapt to your life. Mm. It's one of the hardest sports in the world, mm. you know? So with boxing comes a lot of discipline. It um, comes a lot of routine, mm. uh, a lot of um, mentally overcoming things. So um, it gives you a lot of tools for your mindset, for, for your life. It sets you up, I think. Yeah, it gives you a lot of strength in many different areas. Wonderful. <laughs> and where do you see Lulu in 10 years from now on? 10 years from now? Oh, you're making me think of my mm -hmm. age now. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Just from 10 years um, on now. You know, I'd like to think that I'm going to be really successful uh, having finished up with my fighting career and moved into, um, you know, empowering women. I really like to start uh, speaking on the circuit at some point um, in the future and also possibly coaching and training other people, mostly mainly women. I'd like to focus on that to give them something to like a platform, you know. And what would be your message? What's your message for women out there that are going to watch us, our interview? Women that are going through personal or professional struggles. Mm -hmm. What would be your message to them? My message is that it won't last forever. So keep, keep going and keep working at what makes your heart sing, really. Um, you've got to find those things firstly, what makes you happy what invigorates your life and once you find those things just keep following them and when you come up to those uh, hurdles I say uh, just keep going through because you're going to get to the other side. Absolutely and if you had a magic wand mm -hmm. what would you wish for? Oof, that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, I guess I just wish to have a house for my family that, um, that I own so that you know, we don't have to keep moving around, renting and things like that, um, to have something to give to the children a bit later in life. Yes. Uh, that's it really, uh, everything else, you know, we have, I have everything that I need, I have a beautiful family, I have my children, I have food, shelter and all the basic needs, so I'm quite happy, but you know, that magic one would be... Two wishes. Second wish, the wish for the world, for the others. Um, mainly just that everybody starts to love each other a little bit more and the message comes through because everything that we do is inspired by love. Um, success is driven by love, so that would be the main message I'd like to get across to the world. Beautiful. Louise Darling, I will invite you now to kiss violence against women goodbye and to read the message in support of this initiative. What's awesome. your message to the viewers? My message to everyone is uh, be strong, you are worthy. And now we need a symbolic kiss to kiss violence against women goodbye. Thank you so much, Louise. Thank, thank you so much for being on Hello Darling. Thank you so and much for having me. It's been a pleasure. I wish you all the fame and all the joy that will come with it. Thank you. And that in here's time, when we do Hello Darling part two, we will say, what gender equality problems? Yeah. They are none now. That's yes? it. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you. you.